In this video, I will show you how to perform the husband test in eViews. In panel data analysis, there is often the challenge of which estimator is best to apply for the model. Is it the fixed effects or the random effects? The generalized model for the panel data is this. And it is assumed that AI, which is the individual effects in the model, does not correlate with the explanatory variable. That is the null hypothesis. That is, AI is independent of the explanatory variables in the model. Against the alternative hypothesis that AI correlates with the X variables. So that is what often causes a challenge to researchers, which model or which estimator do I apply? The Hausmann test hypothesis is as shown on the screen. The null hypothesis for the Hausmann test is that the random effects, in this case the individual effects, are independent of the explanatory variables, while the alternative hypothesis simply says the null is not true. So this is what we are testing. Now let's go back to eViews. I've already launched the application. And on the screen, I have a panel data here, already a group data. Here I have 141 countries from year 2000 to 2012 for each of the 141 countries. The first country is Albania and the 141st country is Zambia. You can see it over here. And each country has 13 years data, 2000 to 2012. I'll be working with some um, six variables. You can see them on the screen, six variables. And I also created regional dummies for each of these countries because they're spread across seven regions of the world. In addition to that, I have also created year dummies for each of the 13 years to take care of time dimensions and the data. I'll be including the time dummies in my estimation of the fixed and random effects model. So to get started, let's go to quick. We are going to estimate the fixed effects model first. We go to quick, click on estimate equation, and this dialog box opens whereby we now impute all the variables we are going to use for the estimation. My dependent variable is a log Gini. I put in the constant, which is C, followed by log of GDP per capita, trade, counts, urban population, and I include the time dummies, year two to year 13. On the panel options, you click that. For cross section, open it up and select fixed. Click OK. This is the result for the fixed effects model. The next thing to do is to estimate the random effects model. So click on estimates on this button. Still the same dialog box, nothing changes, except now going to panel options, you change fixed now to random. Click OK. This is the result for the random effects model. So to determine which estimator to best apply, remember we are testing the hypothesis that the random effects are independent of the explanatory variables against the alternative that the random effects correlate with the explanatory variables. So it is only the outcome of the Hausmann test that will give us the right estimator to apply for this model. If the p-value from the Hausmann test is statistically significant, that means we are going to reject the null hypothesis in favor of the alternative. Rejecting the null hypothesis implies that the fixed effects estimator will be applied to this model. So to get across to the Hausmann test, we click on view, go to fixed random effects testing, select correlated random effects Hausmann test, and there you have the results. You can see it here, test summary, chi-square statistic, the degree of freedom, and the prov value. The chi-square statistic is 32.95, and 
and the prop value is highly statistically significant, less than 1%. So, from these results, we are rejecting the null hypothesis in favor of the alternative. We are using the fixed effects estimator to estimate this model. So, this is a brief tutorial on how you can apply the husband test to run your analysis. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos from Crunch Econometrics. Send us your comments and your likes.